This is the oldest lift on the campus. It is a 50s rotary dover, which was later modernized slightly by mid-states in the 90s. The lift sports Galjet plus vandal resistant buttons on the inside and Epco Survivor plus hull stations on the outside with mechanical belt chimes. This lift is the slowest one on campus and it goes 0.18 meters per second even though it is only two floors. The pump unit and logic are still original from the 50s and are located on the roof making this an overhead drive dry powered hydraulic. This is also the smallest lift on campus. Pay attention to how weird the motor sounds. Now on to the second lift, which is a slightly newer lift, from the early 60s. This one is a 61 armor, and is a 5 minute speed walk from the first lift. This lift is on the other end of campus. It got modernized in the mid 80s with GAL jet plus buttons and the floor indicator, lift car, motor, and logic are all still completely original. This is a bottom drive traction unit and is the only traction unit on campus that was installed before 2008. All of the other lifts installed before 2008 are hydraulic. This lift is very nice with very loud shaft noises, dangling cables and a lot of jolting and shaking. The door operator is very smooth for the age, too. Let's take a look at this lift and see how it runs. The next lift is a few years older and was installed in the late 60s. It is a submersible hydraulic unit which was heavily modernized by Chesco Elevator Company in the 2000s. It still has the original motor and logic. It is so smooth that it feels like a traction instead of a hydraulic. This is a really nice lift but unfortunately it breaks down a lot so it might be getting modernized soon. Anyway let's take a ride in it.
On to the last lift which is a very strange 70s hydraulic lift which got its call buttons and fixtures replaced by GAL and EPCO during the 80s. This one is in the science building by the skybridge and the concrete shaft is visible from the outside. This lift is in bad condition and the new submersible pump is not doing well at all. The lift shakes when it's going up and going down which is definitely a bad sign something is wrong with the pump unit. It also under levels. Let's ride the lift.